want to thank you, Mr. President, for the opportunity to bring the recent avoidable boat, Ms. Sharp, in Lafayette, Nigeria, to your attention, and indeed, the attention of the entire nation. I therefore want the Senate to note the tragic boat, Ms. Sharp, that occurred in Lafayette on 1st December 2018, in which 19 persons aged between 12 and 19 years drowned while traveling across the River Niger. Further notes that the use of canoes and boats is the only available means of transportation for the border towns of Lafayette, Enquara, and its neighbors in Niger State. This is, a, this is as a result of the abandonment of the 46-kilometer road project that should ordinarily link Quara and Niger State, thus mitigating the incessant occurrence of boat mishap in the River Rhine community. Aware that the ancient town of Lafayette in the local government council of Quara State is in a very mournful mood as a result of the downing of the drowning of 19 little children who drowned after the passenger boat they boarded capsized midway across River Niger. Further aware that such ugly incidents occurs intermittently as a result of lack of access route in the Uruvarian aid community. Concern that if the only road that links Lafayette to neighboring to neighbor to its neighbors in Niger State had been constructed by the government, such instances would have been eliminated or reduced considerably. Observe that if the 46 kilometer road is constructed or a bridge is built across the River Niger, business and trade activities will be enhanced with reduction of the attendance risk to the lives of our people. Further observe that unless something is done urgently by way of government intervention to arrest the dangerous trend, the people of Kwara State and Niger State will continue to live on the time bombs waiting to consume our people. Accordingly, resolve to one, observe a minute silence in honor of the dependent children and send delegation from the Senate to condole the people of, and government of Kwara State. Two, mandate the Federal Minister of Power, Works and Housing to urgently intervene in the construction of the Lafayette Niger State Road. Three, mandate the National Inland Waterways Agency, NIWA, to ensure the mandatory usage of life jackets by passengers traveling across the River Niger, other rivers, and oceans in Nigeria. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. I stand to second the motion ably moved by Senator Shaba Lafiagi, and secondly, to condole the people of Lafiagi in particular and the entire Okwara State for the loss of these wonderful children who lost their lives as we were crossing one end of the river to the other in the Lafiagi area of Kwara State. Mr. President, this is an ugly situation which could have been averted. Had they been the appropriate authorities are open doing in performing their functions in respect to water transportation in this country. It's quite improper to see a situation where people use water transportation but without adequate safeguards like life jackets to a kind of save them whenever such situation occurs. This is what is done worldwide. I understand why he's saying that uh, the road that has been abandoned has to uh, the, the, the consumer bureau has to uh, uh, be revisited. This is very, very important.
But that does not take the fight away. That water transportation is also an important means of transportation. We shouldn't abandon that, but the necessary safeguards should be employed to make sure that lives are protected. I want to say that, yes, the road that he's talking about should be, should be constructed. We should go back and make sure the contractors that we are to do that job resume their work of doing it. But then again, water transportation is an important means of transportation. We should make sure, NIWA should make sure that the boats that are used to transport people are really appropriate for, trans for, for transporting people and they are good in such a way that they will not cause accident where life will be lost. So it's important we look at this situation and the, the appropriate authority should be called to order to make sure they do their job the way they are supposed to do in line with the Eastern rules and regulations guiding water transportation. I submit that this has to be taken seriously and new wires should be brought to, to, to look at the situation so that this kind of situation be averted in the future. I still submit. Mr. President, I rise to support this motion and to sympathize with the people of Lafayette. Mr. President, this problem that occurred in Lafayette occurs in so many communities across the River Niger. Mr. President, for example, we have this form of boat transportation in Ida to Agenebode in Kogi East. We have in Shintaku to Lokoja. We also have in Bagana to Toto. This is a regular occurrence, Mr. Uh, Mr. President. Mr. President, what I would just add to this, um, the information I want to add to this motion is that Niwa, which is even resident in Lokoja, need to step up its, its, its game. Niwa need to Re regulate the operators of these canoes and these boats and provide or even subsidize life jackets and make it mandatory for the people doing commerce and trade across the River Niger. This will avert future mischief. And I also want to add, Mr. President, that we have a bridge also in Bagana that is ongoing. This bridge is abandoned. We are urging, when it comes to prayers, Mr. President, I'll put an additional prayer that that bridge which has gone like 40%. The federal government should pay attention to it. This will eradicate this vote, Ms. Sharp, and, and other issues as, as, uh, related with this um, um, kind of problem. So, Mr. President, I thank this Senate, and I believe that this Senate should take this matter very seriously. When you come to prayers, I'll make some amendments. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. representing Lagos Senatorial District. Um, because I come from Lagos, we had uh, uh, water bodies all over the place. There were rivers and, uh, you know, creeks. I can sympathize with uh, uh, my elder brother, distinguished Senator Lafiagi, uh, and the entire people of Kwara State uh, on this very, very tragic situation. Um, I could read the prayers, even before we get there now, before we start considering the prayers. And in that, in those of the, the two prayers that are very, very important, you mentioned the Ministry of Fireworks and Housing, and you mentioned NIWA. We are about to start appropriation consideration when the budget is submitted. The request we are going to make now for that road to be constructed has to be taken into cognizance, else nothing will be achieved. So my advice is that in all of this, in all of this um, sympathy and all, all, all these um, um, words of um, um, pacifying the people that have been affected and their families, we must do the needful. And that is ensuring that this particular road is in the 2019 budget so that there won't be any excuse for it not to be reconstructed or, you know, repaired. That is number one. Number two, let me assure you that if any request 
bordering on this kind of thing goes to Niwa. The person who is at the helm of affairs now is Senator Olon Nimbe Mamura, who happens to be our colleague. He will take it as a priority project. And you can be rest assured that the enforcement of wearing safety equipment, safety items to be able to apply those roads and the, the waterways will be enforced as being requested. I thank you for giving me this opportunity to contribute. Thank you. Three exercise. We have federal land revenue, federal road transport uh, um, organization looking after the cars and vehicles on the highways. But the Nigerian Inland Waterways Authority does not seem to have grasp of what is ha happening on river crossings and uh, creeks and uh, river journeys. These sort of mishaps, we have heard about them in several places, as mentioned by my colleague from Kogi State, the Shintaku um, uh, Lokoja is a constant feature. In my state, in Benue State, the Katsuna River and the Benue River have had several mishaps like this in Buruku and other towns where several bodies are lost. In the past, when we were growing up, Federal Ministry of Transport used to embark on establishing river crossings with modern barges, which were large enough to carry passengers safely across the rivers and also transportation within one town and another in a very safe manner. Canoes are not being registered. So there is nobody supervising the quality of canoes carrying people on our rivers. I think something should be done, and the Ministry of Transport should not concentrate on spending large sums of money on dredging these rivers, as they did dredging River Niger from uh, um, wherever to Baro Port in Niger State and so on. I know billions of naira were spent on dredging that river. But once, once that is done, they should also carefully monitor what kind of vehicles, what kind of uh, boats are going on that river. And they should ensure that they find a way of uh, actually um, registering those vehicles and ensuring that they are properly um, uh, maintained so that they will be safe for those who use it. The issue of lab jackets has constantly been mentioned. It should be enforced. And in this area, there must be people who are employed to enforce standards in the way that this transport system is operated in Nigeria. I support this motion, and uh, I urge my, my colleagues to support it so that something can be done urgently by the authorities. All right, thank you very distinguished colleagues, this particular Senate and indeed the National Assembly um, passed a resolution for the reimbursement of state governments over monies they spent in constructing federal roads. And I think it's time that we begin to see every road in our states as being very important and being used by our own people. So yes, we are telling the federal government to include this particular road uh, in the federal budget, but I think there's nothing that stops a state government that cares from doing this road and asking for reimbursement. So we must stop this distinction between the state and federal roads because it's just our own people that use the roads, whether it is federal or state. Some of you who are, who are governors here, I'm sure you had uh, uh, federal roads within your states, which you did. And today, some of those monies were reimbursed. So I would like to urge that while we are pushing for federal government to fix this road, then the state's concerned to also endeavor, if they can, to please uh, construct this route for the safety of their inhabitants and their citizens. The other issue that I need to raise at this point is that we have this attitude in government, both, both federal and state, of just concentrating the cities, the capitals, the federal capital and state capitals, and we take less interest in what happens at the hinterland. In Abuja, for instance, we, we, each time 
would do a budget for the FCT. We include satellite towns, but I'm not sure those satellite towns have been developed. So we need to find a way of making sure that we have what I consider as inclusive development, so that those who are less fortunate you know, to live outside the cities, we should also show concern for what concerns them, including providing uh, facilities for them in terms of transportation. It's not just enough, as Sam, Sam said, to provide uh, mass transit in the cities without caring for those who live outside the cities. So, and I think that the earlier we begin to care for everybody, no matter where you live, I'm sure that it's better for each and every one of us. So, on this note, distance colleagues, we go to the prayers. Prayer one Observe a minute silence in honor of the departed children and send a delegation from the Senate to condole the people and government of Quara State. Those in support of this prayer say aye. Those against say nay. The eyes have it. Prayer two. Mandate the Federal Minister of Power, Work and Housing to urgently intervene in the construction of the Lafayette Niger State Road. Those in support of this prayer say aye. Those against say nay. The eyes have it. Prayer three. Mandate the National Inland Waterways Agency to ensure the mandatory usage of life jackets by passengers traveling across the River Niger and other rivers and oceans in Nigeria. Those in support of this prayer say aye. Those against say nay. The eyes have it. Additional prayer. Either. Either. Thank you, Mr. President. The additional. Those against saying, the eyes have it. Snell leader. <laughs>